All right, so let's get started. So adjusted body weight, adjusted body weight. Remember, I, I'm a, I abbreviate BW as body weight. Um, this one, this formula is equal to ideal body weight, IBW, plus 0 0.4 of total body weight or actual body weight um, minus ideal body weight again. Okay, so this formula is used whenever someone's body weight is at least, depending on institution that like we talked about before, at least 30% over their um, ideal body weight. So let's say somebody's ideal body weight is 70 kilograms, right? This is their ideal body weight. And they're actually weighing 101 kilograms. Is their actual body weight, or we abbreviated TBW here, okay? So if we do a ratio here, if we do 101 over 70, let's see what we'll get. 101 divided by 70, we will get 1.44, right? So this is 44%. So we're gonna extrapolate this as 44%. So it's 44% his, so this person is 101 kilograms. He's 44% over his ideal body weight of 70. So this is not an accurate number. So if you use 70 in the crayon and clearance formula, um, if you go back here, if you use 70 right here, it won't be accurate. You won't get an accurate measure of their crayon and clearance. Thus, we have to use a adjusted body weight here to figure out, hey, we have to like meet me in the middle. It's not as high as their actual body weight. It's not as low as their ideal body weight. It's somewhere in between. That's like the concept of it. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a plug and chug. So we'll change colors here. So this patient's ideal body weight, let's say it was 70 plus 0 0.4 of, say total body weight is 101 minus ideal body weight, 70. Let me do a quick calculation and then um, let's see what it is. So we got 101 minus 70 times 0.4 plus 70. So 82. So this is equal to 82.4 kilograms. Just so you see how 82.4 is in between 70 and 101. So it's it's a basically it's like, a, it's like a meet me in the middle type of formula where both actual body weight and adjusted body and, and ideal body weight is not an accurate measure when you're using it to calculate current clearance in the cocker golf equation so you use the adjusted body weight here so it's plain and simple so after you do this then you plug that number into the weight here and then you do normal carrying clearance, which we talked about how to do previously, and you'll get adjusted, uh, a carrying clearance for adjusted body weight formula. So that's basically it. Um, there's some different institutions might change uh, this number here. It might be 0.3 or 0.2 or 0.5, uh, depending on the institution, but common, common um, practice is they use 0.4, um, but it, that's just like a, it's just like a institutional protocol based um, uh, thing. Um, generally 0.4 is the common one used. Now, and then that, that's basically it. So I hope you guys learned something um, in this video. I, I try to make it a little bit quick and really short. The main takeaways are basically it's a adjusted body weight. It's like a meet me in the middle between ideal and actual body weight. And um, it's just a, a way of getting a more accurate measure of crayon clearance when um, adjusting for weight. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time.